Hi team, uh, just a quick update. Uh, Saturday racing, 1st of September. Um, of course, we've got the Tarzino down in Hastings and we've got great racing up at uh, Ruakaka. Uh, both my runners are up at Ruakaka where it's actually at the moment rated at dead five. Probably not going to be that, I would imagine, with the weather forecast as going to be stormy, but uh, you never know, Ruakaka is known for always having a good track. So. Um, we've got Hastings as well. Ruby Armani was nominated for the uh, Tarzino, but we have decided to take her out just because it's probably a big ask for a group one fresh off the bat and we didn't want to dump her in the deep end. We'll instead head to the group three um, of the last day of the carnival. So um, although she's out, it's going to be a wonderful race, probably the strongest field ever in the Tarzino. Um, Got some really top end runners, including uh, the likes of Scott Bass, who I really rate. Um, he did a wonderful lead up trial at Taupo the other day. Uh, Start Wondering, a wonderful eight year old gelding who also has had the experience of racing at Rose Hill. And High Flyer, who Peter Locke would never take um, High Flyer down to Hastings if he didn't have some sort of a good chance. So, with his also with his good um, form in Sydney, with his two starts getting uh, fourth over there and both, um, you'll be looking at some sort of um, good run by him. Um, such a wonderful field and of course, Melody Bell being the favorite at this point in time, it really, it really is an open field for me, although you must be looking at something that could probably run in a slow track because I think they are going to be experiencing some heavy rain. Uh, rain forecast all around the Waikato and over at the Bay of Plenty and Gisborne area. So I'm just assuming that they would also get the weather um, that we've been getting. So um, with Ruby Armani out of the Tarzino, um, we are looking, I am looking up at Ruakaka for our two runners up there. Um, dance, dance, dance. She's having her first run back as a four-year-old mare. Um, she will be rating, uh, racing in the race six um, up at Ruakaka. She's got a good draw, draw two. Um, so it's uh, 1400 meters and obviously a fantastic field. You've got Con Contessa mm -hmm. Vanessa and some of the great, the great horses in there, um, obviously um, kicking off uh, their spring summer campaign um, up there. And um, I just know that Chris really has been thrilled with the way Dance 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 has come up this prep. Um, I know when she pre-trained at Coniston Lodge, she just, she excelled, she knew exactly why she was pre-training and she knew exactly what she wanted to do. As soon as you got her out on the track, she um, she turned into a, a racehorse. And if we put her in the box, she turned into cutie, cutie, cute Gracie. So um, um, yeah, dance, 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 looking, looking really well. And please don't panic when you see her in some bright yellow silks. She hasn't been sold. She's simply racing in the daffodil colors for the day. So supporting uh, supporting cancer and doing her best part to support Daffodil Day. Um, Bloodstock Achieving Excellence has said that she should run in the Daffodil Day colours, which are yellow. Um, so don't be shocked if you see her in that. So again, she's going for the rating 82, 1400 metres um, and should put in a very good show. Uh, Los Angeles is the other horse. She's obviously excelled in her last two starts and um, I see no reason why she won't do well again, uh, although it is a strong field um, and Chris Gibbs has a, a, another horse in there, Amazing As, who will probably lead. Uh, we're drawing 10, which um, will probably make us sit outside the leader, I'd imagine. Uh, Bridget Grills takes, takes the reins. Uh, she's done a wonderful prep over at, um, got in the Gold Coast and has come back and is riding really well and she's in form. So I don't really see why um, Los Angeles can't put in another good show for us. Uh, and, um, you know, so I think we have two good, two good horses uh, on Saturday. It should be exciting. Um, and I'm looking forward to the start of spring racing and getting all my horses and seeing all these wonderful other horses coming up and on board. And again, Probably my tips for the Tarzino would have to be Scott Bay, Start Wondering, and High Flyer. So good luck to all. Good luck to Team Gracie. Good luck to Team Holly. And um, let's hope for a win. I'll be back on track later on in the week. Thank you.